Welcome back. Is this beginning or ending? I mean, I'm just a man. She's a bad thing. Fine as hell. Thick as fuck. Oh my God. That's my baby. Caroline. Hello everyone, what's good? What's poppin'? It's your girl Caroline and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another fun, ribbing, exciting start to finish wig install where I show you everything I did from start to finish to get my wigs from looking straight out of the box, looking straight out of the scalp. And today we are going to be creating the perfect everyday summer bob because y'all, I don't know about you guys, over here in Texas, it is hot. Even this wig that's on my head has been doing me. I went to run errands with it. See the way my lace is already lifting, the hair touching my neck. I just, I need something light, short, glueless that I can just pop on and take off. The glueless closure wig is gonna get me right every time. So, introducing today's wig of the day, yay, yay. Today we're working with V Show Hair Company and they sent me their Deep Wave 16 inch glueless bob. This comes from their like throw on and go unit which I felt was gonna be perfect for today's wig because this is meant to be installed glueless, already has a pre-cut lace, already comes pre-plucked as you can see. However, them knots definitely needed to be bleached. That's the only pre-customization we're gonna be doing today for this unit. It's just giving it a little bleach on the knot so it can really give scalp. Bleach knots, I went in with my tried and true charcoal flash lightning powder and I mixed that in with 40 volume developer. I do have a very detailed step by step down to like the T bleaching knots tutorial that I recently posted. So if you want more detail on how I do that, go ahead and check that out. But this, I'm just giving you guys a little quick run down and you know, the gist so you can know exactly everything I did to achieve this look without being too detailed. But for my bleach and developer ratio, I always do a one-to-one -one ratio for this. I use about half a scoop of bleaching powder, so I also mix that in with another half a scoop of developer to get that right consistency that's not too creamy, but at the same time, not too thick. And I did pour in these half scoops in slowly, because I was scared that's gonna get too runny too fast. Because you never want your bleach to be too runny, that's how you mess up. And here I am, once I got my right consistency, I'm gonna go ahead and use a popsicle stick to just apply that bleach onto the knots. Whenever I'm applying bleach onto a cut lace wig, like this I have to be very mindful that I'm not pushing too hard because that cut lace for some reason just makes it easier for you to over bleach your knots so just keep making sure you're taking breaks to stop to flip the wig inside out to make sure you're not pushing the lace too far where it's bleeding too much into the hairline but like I've been saying these days a little bit of bleed into the hairline like a little bit like putting a little bit of pressure is necessary to get a perfectly bleached knot but for like wigs like these these glueless throw on and go units you don't need to push too much because the knots are very very small so don't need too much pressure after fully covering up these knots, I decided to go ahead and let the hair sit for about, I never give exact time, but this wig, the knots did bleach really fast. Just 30 minutes is how long I let it sit under the foil, but I always say if you're a beginner, just set yourself a 10 minute interval timer, because a lot of things do vary when it comes to bleaching your knots that can make the time different for everyone. I just say, just give yourself a little timer, 10 minutes, keep checking back till you see the knots lift from a dark color to a more orange, brown, blonde color that matches closest to your skin tone. Once I have properly, thoroughly washed out the bleach from the hair, and I also use shampoo as well, I like to use a neutralizing shampoo when I'm washing out bleach, just to stop any reaction time, I'm gonna go ahead and tone my knots. And I like using a combination of purple and blue shampoo. I use both of them because they both are great for like toning undertones that you get from going from black to blonde. Link down below what shampoos, toning shampoos I use, but I have them both mixed into a little mixing bowl, so I can mix both colors together, and I use a little hair mixing or hair coloring brush to just apply that directly onto the knots. I let this sit for another 10 minutes, not too long, I'm always scared of tinting my lace blue, and I just go ahead and wash that out. I love doing glueless wigs, like the throw and go glueless wigs. Even though the knots do not come bleached, it's still such an easy work because all you do is bleach the knots and the hairline always comes perfectly plucked. And just like that, I am ready to install her. Real quickly, I'm just going in and adding some of my foundation under the lace. This is my Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade 256. I'm just buffing that in under the lace so now I can get the perfect exact match. Since I want to wear this wig gluelessly, I need it to be the exact match of my skin tone for it to just magically and visibly melt into my hairline or into my skin ahead and plop the wig on the wig for a glueless wig does feel secure but my only thing that i do mention a lot about v show 
glueless wigs that they did not install any clips like it has an elastic band an adjustable one that helps make it glueless but it does not have clips on the side or back so if you're looking for a lot more security as in like if you can tug on the wig it won't move i definitely recommend adding some clips onto it to really get it nice and stuck but as far as how well it lays gluelessly as you can see right here it's melting into my hairline i've literally just threw it on my head just now now let's get into the styling this was me the next day i just wanted to pop the wig back on and get into styling the hair because the wig does come pre-styled into this like asymmetrical long in the front short in the back bob but i just wasn't really feeling it i kind of wanted some more shape like a little afro but not exactly an afro so first i wanted a little bit of a bang situation going on so i just went ahead and parted the hair roughly the two front pieces in the front that i wanted to be my bang to see exactly which pieces i wanted to fall as bangs i kind of just flipped the hair and played with it to see what was going to frame my face i know how much hair i wanted to cut and it was really just those pieces right there so i go in like a, like a downward triangle type of motion and just part downwards on both sides one cutting i always like to overshoot i never cut exactly where i want the hair to be at first because like i said you can cut it but you cannot bring it back okay so i first started cutting under my chin as kind of like my tester to see how i wanted it to look at first and then i brought i divided those pieces that i just cut into half i wanted it to be kind of a layered bang i wanted the, a little bit of a shorter fringe going on a little closer to my face so i did another downward triangle part now a little bit closer to the center as you can notice i'm also twisting the hair kind of cut at the layer and i cut this piece right at the top of my lip and since this is curly hair i know the hair is going to shorten and shrink up once it's wet i didn't want to cut any more without seeing how short it was going to get so this was good enough for now and now i'm just going to go in and start cutting kind of in an angle to create the little fro shape i can never properly explain verbally how i cut my hair into these little afro-y shapes i just kind of imagine me using my scissors and i'm cutting in an angle to kind of create a v on both sides so i always like to fluff the hair out to see how it's going to poof out and I'm cutting not the length of the hair, just layers. So like the top is way shorter than it is at the bottom. And that kind of gives it that like, I don't know how to explain it. Just kind of gives that certain shape to the hair. So hopefully visually you can kind of see what I'm doing. So I'm going to leave these clips of me cutting the hair here. So it makes sense visually if I can't verbally explain. Here I am the next day. This wig was so easy. I just kept picking it up and dropping it. Like I would do it in between other wigs I was working on, but I was actually gonna wear this wig out tonight. So now I'm gonna actually finish styling it. Once I got the shape I wanted, I'm going in now with just a spray bottle, just fill with water to drench the hair and help redefine and re-get these curls popping so I can see the full shape. Once I finished brushing the hair and got the hair to clump up nicely, I like to just scrunch everything to really promote nice clumps. And I like to leave the hair like this untouched to air dry to about a good 50%. I say 50% because I like to have the hair dry enough where I can start to see the shape of the hair form, but it's still a little bit wet. And this is when I go in and start doing my styling and shaping like to exactly my liking. Like right now I'm just going in and cutting those little long straggly pieces that don't belong in the layers just to give the hair a very clean look. And I'm also going in, I'm gonna do some finger coils on the front framing pieces because they're like my money pieces. I love doing deep, I love doing finger waves 
I love doing finger coils on deep wave hair. I feel like deep wave hair, the way it dries and like a, the curls are never too tight or too loose to the right size for me. And I just love how deep wave hair looks. And I feel like it was like the perfect curl pattern to do this little bob. I think deep wave is one of my favorite hairs to have in short styles because it just really complements the curls so nicely. But here I'm just doing a couple loose, medium sized finger coils. I don't want them to be too tight or too well done so i did a couple on this side and a couple on the other side i also did some finger coils on some other random parts on the hair i just really wanted the curls to stand out in this hairstyle and now to get the perfect defined look i make sure i do not touch this hair at all let it air dry fully in this clumped tight look and i'll separate it once it's fully dry now that the hair has fully dried i can finally separate it to get that volume that i want and i still don't separate it all the way to the ends i like to go with a wide tooth comb and just kind of like tease mainly at the roots so i'll separate the hair to give it volume up at the top but i don't want to drag my comb down to the bottom because i don't want to separate those ringlets that are down there i just want volume but i still want definition sometimes i do go ahead and separate the finger coils because they would be looking a little bit too tight and perfectly made and i'm going to separate the hair i have to be very mindful to just not cause any frizzing and just really carefully unravel the curls now to get that bang type of look i like to go in with a hawk comb and i just lift the roots up like upwards like this and that was what kind of helped the hair fall downwards like a bang without looking kind of wonky so i just press the roots all the way up and mind you guys this hair is still glueless nothing is being added i just put this wig on if you want your lace to lay a little bit better like i did earlier i did have an elastic band and that helped the lace get more of a melted effect but this is completely glueless and here we are with our finished look and oh i love this wig right now i'm literally wearing it as i'm recording this voiceover this has been my everyday summer wig like these curls the style the easiness of applying this wig i literally toss her on and take her off and this wig looks better as like the days like the curls start to get even more matted which gives more of like a natural look but this wig is just so natural and it's just so easy and perfect for the summer. I love it so much. Y'all know curly bobs are my go-to. Like, that's me. This is my signature look. And I just love it because now it's glueless and it's a closure. But that is all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this look. If you do, make sure you comment down below. And if you have any questions, concerns, just want to say hey, comment down below. But I'll see you guys another. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And peace out, Girl Scouts. Goodbye.